following operator training video on the Hobart N50 mixer is a supplement to the instruction manual that came with your Hobart mixer. If you have any questions concerning operation, please consult your manual. Your Hobart N50 mixer is constructed and designed to give long satisfactory service providing it is properly used and maintained. This training video will cover the controls of the mixer, its operation, cleaning, and maintenance. Warning, moving beater in bowl. Keep hands, clothing, and utensils out while in operation. The on-off switch is used to start the mixer. The gear shift lever is used to change speed. Always stop the mixer before changing speeds. To change speeds, turn the on-off switch to off. Move the gear shift lever to the desired speed and restart the mixer by turning the switch to on. Note, there is a mechanism which prevents the gear shift lever from being moved with the switch in the on position and likewise prevents the switch from being turned on if the gear shift lever is between gears. The bowl lift handle is used to raise and lower the bowl. To raise the bowl, rotate the handle upward. Rotating the handle downward lowers the bowl. This section explains the specific operation of the N50 and how to install bowls, agitators, and attachments. A separate use and applications handbook is provided with the mixer, which contains information on mixing procedures, as well as outlining specific uses for agitators, attachments, and accessories. New mixer bowls and agitators, beaters, whips, and dough arms should be thoroughly washed with hot water and a mild soap solution. Rinse with either a mild soda or vinegar solution and thoroughly rinse with clear water before being put into service. This cleaning procedure should also be followed for bowls and agitators before whipping egg whites or whole eggs. The bowl must be installed before the agitator. To install the bowl, fully lower the bowl support. Position the bowl so the alignment bracket on the back of the bowl is in the bowl retainer on the bowl support and the alignment pins on the front of the bowl support fit in the holes in the bowl. Lock the bowl in place by rotating the bowl clamps over the ears of the bowl. To install an agitator, the bowl must be installed and fully lowered. Place the agitator in the bowl, push it up on the agitator shaft, and turn it clockwise to seat the shaft pin in the slot of the agitator shank. The mixer has three mix speeds. Speed one, or slow, is for heavy mixtures, such as bread dough, heavy batters, and potatoes. Speed two, the medium speed, is for light dough, which must rise quickly, cake batters, and some whipping operations. And speed three, high, is a fast speed for light work, such as whipping cream, beating eggs, and mixing thin batters. Warning, unplug machine power cord before beginning any cleaning procedure. The mixer should be thoroughly cleaned daily. Bowls and agitators should be removed and cleaned in a sink. Do not use a hose to clean the mixer. It should be washed with a clean, damp cloth. Remove the agitator spring for cleaning. Slip the lower end of the spring underneath the agitator pin and screw in a counterclockwise motion until the spring comes off. All coils of the spring should be above the agitator pin. Note, do not operate agitators without the agitator spring in place. The drip cup should be removed periodically and wiped clean. Warning. Unplug the machine power cord before beginning any maintenance procedure. The alignment pin area and slideways should be lubricated twice a year. Apply a light coat of LubriPlate 630AA to both slideways. 
This concludes operator training for the Hobart model N50 mixer. For long-term performance and durability, refer to your Hobart mixer capacity chart for recommended maximum recipe capacity with your Hobart mixer. To obtain service and parts information concerning this mixer, contact your local Hobart service office.